I, I would agree we should. I mean, the Center for Disease Control in uh, Atlanta is the world's premier infectious disease institute. There's nothing like it. The amount of research dollars they have thrown at them over the years, they're experts in everything. I and mean, the WHO listen to what the CDC says in Atlanta. If they say five days is okay, it probably is. You know, when we began this, it was 14, then it became 10 days, and recently it was seven days over here. What's the difference? Of course, if you release people after two or three days, you're risking infectious people going out there. At five days, CDC think the risks are very low. Sure, it's better to keep people in for 30 days if you want to, but you know that's not tolerated by society. So everything is a balance. And five days seems to me a good way. The problem the NHS had, and cancer treatment, my specialty in particular, is absence. The radiographers, the chemotherapy nurses are, are, are isolating because they've told they have to isolate for seven or ten days. Seven is a lot better than ten, but five would be better than seven. 